okay so so guys last last class we were talking about the crm so we're talking about the marketing sales and service of course when you talk about the marketing so we know that the very beginning thing is the campaign stuff now who would be creating this campaign who are as part of the campaign there's all the first things that we have to you know marketing guys i should think so marketing guys will have a data of the users may may or may not be we don't know but all together they have to promote their product that is the only intention they have it so when they have it let's say um they want to open a restaurant in a particular place they have to do a case study so that is also their that, that i mean they own the ownership of it and one more thing is what if i do that will be a click or a or be a game changer even the marketing guys is to think that because they are the one who do innovations on how to present to the people so that this product would be hit in the market so that is their pain now while doing that so they wanted to put a trade show and introduce their product or they wanted to give advertisement introduce their product how much effectively they are spending the money so that is also is left to those guys if they are doing digital marketing how much amount should spend for that or if they are saying that okay in a tv advertisement i don't know for for a minute how much it they charge it and to make such ad also there is a little costly so all these and expenditures they have to take care about so marketing guy is the one who just gets the content right to the market so while doing that they may have the context may not have the context also fine but somehow they wanted to promote the product to the right people so they study the industrial things what what is the current trend current markets if if this is out of trend if we bring something this will failure so all this subjective things they will have it suppose that if people we have a contact on to the respective uh campaign we are trying to say as a context and leads then we are good so who becomes a context maybe they are already our customers maybe we already we bought this context somewhere else so they have become the context by doing this campaign only in the trade show or some you know outlet which i put in people are coming and asking hey, i am interested please don't note down my name any time you can call me i am interested in this product at that time they also become the leads because they are interested in our product so all this information and other stuff will be you know given back to the sales guys sales guys are the one who okay verifies okay these are the contacts again they verify for the you know sake of legitimate all the records are proper and <clears throat> so they do a call firstly to check whether the people are really interested so or not so then that's how it happens if you, if you say that i'm interested if i say that i'm not interested we will be qualifying disqualifying based on the the call which we will take care if say still yes so then maybe next level meet we have to meet him and just check these other few informations and then we have to qualify that guy so the moment we qualify the naka mode is a lead so we say we are going to convert that particular lead by what by just creating the account name the moment the converting lead itself will bring this ui account contact and opportunity you can choose account and contact there only either new or existing can choose or you wanted to create new opportunity you can choose there so then comes opportunity related products and quotes and quote random so this will come to later side okay let's say you have been in that particular person who came in who has been ordered and been bought the deal so he he won so we amount we got it the next time anything goes wrong so he will raise the service tickets to us being a service agents like are the call center people or basically you know support agents so we are trying to solve their issues whichever the critical things comes in and which is again we have a policy what we will support for so you know which is meaningful we will support for so we don't take unnecessary things and again if the customers has or the client has an sle so we also meet to them let's say two days within that you have to resolve this issue or five days for a critical or say two days for a critical five days for the medium it depends on the period of the ticket now how do we handle this how do we root case all that we're going to see see here we be we become the configurator or implementers plus have a client to log in and check all that we're going to see it so we're going to see both the end how do we configure how do we create and see the record both the end we're going to see it why i'm saying this is because let's say if a client is creating case how it comes in now what type of configuration we have done in did it so it went to the right place so all, uh, all the time we would have been just called to a call center or we'd have sent an email of doing a phone call it would have been routed to the right departments 
for example you are calling on to a bank stating something that the credit card issue so car goes to nivea so first the you no know, press 1 to choose a saving bank press 2 for a credit card you choose two again credit card enter a number and a passcode okay done so then what is the issue do you want to talk to customer or you want to check out your balance talk to customer now when you choosing all this option it goes to the right queue so this is what we seen over the phone now you'd be seeing how this implemented also part of this course fine and now i just that will be in the sales mode right it it will be in the both the sales and service because we even for the sales also we can have a queue even for the service also we can have a queue okay because sales guy you're talking and what type of a sale that you're doing even for them also they need some assignments for example you did a sale you are having dealing with one rep and he wants to transfer that lead to another rep he basically i did the sale so this guy is too, seems to be crazy and then you take over so you can assign the or complete that particular record to someone else basically transfer the record i'm saying with the help of leads and case only it's possible with the other objects it's not possible okay anyway we'll come here and then you know add few more details let's go first into the marketing and see let's see our syllabus also which matches with this so let's come first with the c7 8 chapters are close connected because we will be talking about leads and campaigns and majority of opportunity and how contacts and accounts are creating it so seven and eight both basically sorry basically both are uh, what is it the combination of two because marketing and sales they are not so different so some points they will be connected with additionally opportunity price books and code something would be there in the sales which we not see in the uh, marketing cloud so this is a conceptual marketing cloud not like unless you have a paradot some of the products we have in sales was that not that marketing cloud it is because they have you know sales was acquired a company called paradot and so that is you doing some email management email service and all it is doing so it is not that this is a conceptual of understanding crm stuff and then later on in the ninth chapter we'll come to how do we handle with the case and other stuff we we'll do now firstly we have to jump into campaign management so we know what is campaign something i want to promote a product that is being i'm just naming them as a campaign and you can have your name and then what type of a campaign that you're throwing out and uh, let's see that do you know any questions no no so our mcdonald's app is very specific so i'm not going to get here so let me get into a sales application in this studies we will be seeing about more about um, what is the crm things of course you know taking an example of a mcdonald's and then we're doing all this stuff and i don't want to have all this marketing crm files there campaign everything running there if you wish yes we can add there it's if you do that then there's an hybrid we are combining sales service marketing everything there as of course we can have mcdonald's for sales mcdonald's for service mcdonald's for uh, marketing you can have three different apps also and giving access to a specific market peoples or to the users that also you can do okay now we are into the uh, first thing is we have to get into market let me check marketing yeah here we have marketing here so the moment when i come to marketing what i see is so this is home your assistant or whatever the events that you all can see campaign is our first target so i don't know whether any campaigns we have so this is a sample you know um, campaign people have already added let's quickly look into it dm campaign to top customers of on 2001 whatever name of the campaign active what type of uh, campaign we did it direct email status completed started in it expected revenue how much is budget you spent actually how much you spent cost how many people responded to you and 
how many number of emails that you send to uh, all the customers part of the campaign because you are you know saying that the new product is coming right so you are targeting for 15000 people you sent and out of them i don't know how many people responded back so your budget you put for 25000 yeah, but you expecting 25x somewhere or 25 million so how many leads converted how many all this as they seem to sing to you okay this is something with an existing campaign which they had so let me get into new campaign of our own and then say new campaign so what was our exact thing that we wanted to mcd amir pet restaurant so mcdonalds amir what is this amir how do you write amir pet A M E E R P E T. Yeah. Then I've written that. Yeah. Fine. So I say this is an active, and this is a campaign which I'm running on. So I may put a part of this. I may put a trade show or a simple um, outlet, and then sit there and sell few things. So based on that, the crowd will understand whether the my restaurant would go good or not. See the the part of these applications we are not directly you know connecting to the customers and then doing this stuff. So this is our for company and so we are trying to implement the restaurant. What happens to a company? That is the first point that we are maintaining here. And this application to book online restaurant or food and stuff we are not doing here. You are getting? It's all about the backend management for a McD. What we are doing. now they wanted to introduce a new restaurant so it is all added to their management so this we can get it to uh, induces unless and until that restaurant is active and then been operational performance they doing it only then they can come to the existence until these guys are doing a uh, research on whether to get this restaurant on this place or not so i can they can run a camp and you know, a conference for this uh, this thing mm So if you have another picklist callers, uh, outlet stall is fine. Or if you do a trade show type, a uh, simple trade show, doing it so that the people should come see a simple show and then buy a few things. So you put a small outlet there, and things fine. So it's all planned. Our in progress has started. We don't know. So it's all planned. We say, and when you want to start, let's say we starting next week. So when it'll end. So it may end why? So complete one month studies required. So now let's say. So guys, when I say about the field update, let's come to that point later. And do automation. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is start date, end date. Start date I've chosen two six twenty one, three six twenty one. Expected revenue the same way. I'm gonna put somewhere and I'm expecting six thousand. Our dollars and my budget is very simple. For the products and the outlet, how much I would have spent, um, which is ten, I don't know, removable outlet. <laughs> so hardly I think I spend some ten thousand dollars for a simple. No, can I feel the put right? So that type of and then and then simple table and other stuff. But you no know, showcasing my products and then simply selling out. So with this for this enough, and the products for a month. <clears throat> so how much you spend? All this included. So I'm expecting one is to six. This type of ratio, so that my product if it comes in at least half of them, then is a good to open the restaurant here. Or else, no, no, not a good sign to open here. How much cost you gonna include here? It depends on. So we have given a ten thousand dollars out of this. How much you may use? We don't know. So one one after you use one, then you can say it. Maybe you're using five thousand or nine thousand. Actual, we don't know. It depends. Let's say for the initial cost, you have used thousand nine thousand. Sometimes it can go actual more than the budget also it can go. We can stop it. No need stoppage. So assume ten thousand budget they given nine thousand for every setup and other the food products we have bought and something the MCD products we have bought and kept ready. So thousand in our dollars we have everything. Actual response we don't know yet. How many people are buying out 
out of this if this goes more than this it depends what my expectation is budget in the camp and how much i'm going to spend it so for example if you spend 10000 and you're expecting 60000 and to how many people is that we're targeting so based on this the response rate would may vary so let's say number of people number sent in campaign so i'm going to open a trade tree here i may have sent to 50000 people because i know the contacts which is around the people of amirpur how do we get i told yesterday guys uh, maybe from the bank or maybe from the people who are hunting for restaurants so somehow we have get a data this data here we will buy it yours and mine data all the sold <laughs> so any parent campaign is running if we have then we will be really put it to it like same already something an mcd um, other branch is running or mcd hyderabad um, stuff is running under them these are the child uh, campaign if you say you can add it to them on the same day on the same time we are running multiple times someone is like parent and the that is the one which is operating cost if you do we can send a parent campaign unless it's not required so if this is independent we can do it independent way so description is mcd amir paid research to open the restaurant so, so market guys have created this campaign and then we don't have any campaign hierarchy because no parent have chosen no attachments to this why attachment if you say approval from the mcd to open a restaurant or to do research on the activity can have uploaded files here basically proof files you can say you can add to this or any government permissions to run there all the files will be here so that if someone asks you can show them or for your own operational purpose the company is using it what are things we spend for to open such outlet there for current uh, research any opportunities been involved to this part of this campaign or who is a campaign members so campaign members are the one who is the backbone of this campaign why i say is without a members or people come and talking to us the campaign is useless i say i sent to 50000 people so out of 50000 people i don't know how many people are like turn back who knows so if none of them turn back so then our campaign is failure so if some someone turn back and say they are interested then uh, we can assume that our product is really good okay so part of the campaign what i want to say is campaign members have to do it so now there is something called as ad leads ad customer contacts ad leads in the sense so i have opened an outlet so people are directly walking in and then they're giving their contact details and i'm adding them so that is also ad leads ad customer contacts some somewhere i have already inserted you know bunch of all my contacts and i'm trying to add their contacts to here is getting someone did a digital load 50000 records i have did a digital load here and i'm trying to add piggy of 50000 which i wanted it here not 50000 all the customers who turned back at least 10000 or 5000 or 2000 the people have turned back i can add all of the 2000 here as a customer contacts now again we have a few marketing guys would or other call center guys would call to them and say that how do you are interested with the product we can do it <clears throat> so let me say add leads if any leads already you have created it you can have here or you wanted to create a new lead altogether you can create it look at this import leads and customer contacts so the moment you do it so you are trying to import an excel sheet which we came from outside or you want to send a you know email list you have a list of email ids you can send them to them or do you want to manage campaign members few people already added you want to throw them out so you buy through manage campaign members you can add and remove whatever you want I have one question. So when we say leads, are they like the potential customers or the future customers? So they're the potential customers. Of course, if we you know connect with them, we get a chance to close them also. So they have they are already the customers. When we say lead, they are our customers or could be yeah. could be or could be a future customer also. Not I know. So who becomes the leads? Who are interested in the market becomes the leads. 
So who becomes a contact? They may be already a customer of us. You getting the point? So the moment I convert a lead, you are becoming an, an account and a contact. So that way, my contacts are my customers, existing customers. I think leads are always you think as a new guys coming in. Okay. Uh, okay. For sorry. Uh, for example, uh, if you are applying for a college, mm-hmm. um, whoever applied, like filled the form and then applied. So mm-hmm. uh, these are all leads, and the who are who whoever gets the admit, mm-hmm. and whoever are the students, they are contacts. That's what you meant, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So people who are in the first year already join, or second year already they are into, they are all uh, customers or contacts. What I say here, okay. who are applying for it, and then it went on to the college, and the college has to give an approval. So it's, you are into the negotiation of joining there. So you are lead. Got it. Okay. The same way here. Oh, what is this? One So this is a campaign which I created right now, and uh, I want to add the lead gen. So lead is something that you already created something. Okay, uh, let me create a lead here, and I can add the leads there also. It depends. So lead. Okay, when you talk about here, um, how to create leads and in how many ways if someone asks this question how do we create a leads one is you have provided the details to marketing or sales guy so they are entering on behalf of you are doing it so, or the second option is you have showed your interest in somewhere some somewhere online posted things you are just clicked on it and say you are interested interested say showed your interest in um, online channels so it could be so there is an option i don't know whether the interest in channels is something in facebook it comes hey do you interested in the product yes or no you say yes and give a name or email done so even that also could be turned as a leads or specifically we have a form to fill so form to fill and send we will call group to leads You so you you have form. They're gonna fill up properly, and then you're gonna send it. So that will come to as a lead. However, again, this is also you're showing that you are interested towards the product. So either you have connected to the marketing guy or sales guy into the outlet who are doing it. So you went there and you said you shared your information there, or you showed your interest somewhere in the online people are posting. So say yes or no, and then give your contact details. Or in the third form where you, you have a specific, like say in a website you have go to a contact as you see, or uh, Something went wrong. So raise a ticket. They say how all these all will take to in terms of sales and service, specifically to sales. We talk say I have to lead. Where you fill a form, contact us. It'll come here and it is form as a lead, and then we show or get back to those customers. I mean, how do you create leads? In sense, what is the source of leads? I can say this is how do you get. leads not in technical way how do you create go click on button not that way i'm saying source of leads let's getting you went there yeah so basically we can talk it as 
take it as a um, source of leads. Source of leads creations. Okay. So I think in time the you no know, recording can stop. You should return now. It's a minute now. So source of leads creations. Yes, you can. I mean, the customer has provided the details to a marketing guy. You have showed interest. You have, you have filled the form and sent to Webtel leads form. And what else? Now, sales guys uploads the Excel sheet. Which may be extracted by vendors and supplied. So this is something you buy it from outside the context. So we don't say that oh the who is given. Some extracted by vendors they have given to us, and they, we are uploading their Excel and we are targeting them. So this is the one which I is talking is source of leads creation. So in how many ways? One is someone is uploading an Excel sheet or the form fill or someone showed interest by the online channel or marketing guys is providing the details to us. So all these are the source of channels, I say. Now, likewise, someone has given an outlet, say their contact details, and it has reached us. So that way, so the maybe this one person which just came immediately and is saying that he's interested. So then what we do is Mr. Whatever this name, um, um, and then companies, you may have a company, you may, you may not have another company. So you say that I'm individual or you say I work for some company. Because leads are when you try to do it, you need to give your um, information. So where do you work or whatever? Or if it is an independent customers, we say that, you uh, know, independent. So we can have a company name as independent and then we can add them all to the one category. It depends. So now let's say this guy is working on um, something, not so. So this is a campaign. So MACD, I'm gonna put for NASA. <laughs> Check this. Uh, who works for the local training institute? Okay, SF training. For this institute, every day people are attending, at least 500 people are uh, not attending it for two or three sessions. For all these guys, we need to have meals, meals to be supplied for these guys. So we don't have time to get an order to the next nearby stores and get all the stuff. So every day when we have, at least we need a snacks to be provided to the people. So which we're buying from currently now. So the charge is a little high. And if something out of this McDonald's, if we get a little cheaper in, so I'm benefited more. So that's the reason Mr. Bose has come here and his company name is Sub Training Institute. And so what is what is it, you know, I think is easy organizer. He's organizer in that institute, his at least. And what is the lead? So how do you got to know? So someone, or maybe a number, but he's randomly walked in, he just saw this, and then he just he wanted to interest with this. So which type of industry is, maybe we not have this all stuff, or the company which is coming in lead. So what type of uh, institute, or what type of the industry they are looking into it? Education. Okay, this is about the, the person who called Bose, he, he's information test. Which company is working with? Which, what is his title? How do you source? Industry, which industry is being part of it? Because he's an institute training is running through, he's an education student. So his revenue is randomly is putting. So we have 90,000 or 9 lakh dollars uh, last month, in the last financial year. And his rating is, he says, we say hot. So why we say hot, warm, cold is all, I think, you know, uh, hot in the sense is something this person would show, surely close the deal. We make them hot and warm, cold based on the, you know, depends on the interest, how much they have. it. So for this education institute, currently they have a number of employees, let's say 50, or let's say 15 or 20, anything is fine. So 
sfi.com jagadish something random name um so is mobile number okay Saved. So what it is, I have just created a new lead. So go into a simple lead object and I created in a right way. So if you see here, open not contacted. That means we have just opened the lead and from our sales team, they didn't contact no one contact to Mr. Bose. So we just have this information. Sometimes we just call them and then they see uh, whether they're interested or not. But that way we just say that um converted stage converted stage we say close when or not you see close converted or you're just throwing this area this is outside fine no problem so a lead you think i've been created here he's a new coming guy um so we are trying to working him and contact him so we don't know whether this guy will be qualified or not Either we say close converted, we say we not close not converted at all. So that means not we are disqualified him. A simple lead is not created. That's it. Let's get into a campaign. And I'm sorry, I'm repeat. Well, doing an ad, ad leads. If you search for a new person, if not available, they have an option called as lead to create from here only. You can do this also. Loading up to direct to the lead object is also fine. And getting from here, add leads. And in the search box, we have an add lead here also. So this way also you can do it. Now both Jayana and this both have added there. So he's an organizer. I just wanted to add them here. So that will let's look at this. Though we didn't search at all, it says it is already searching lead, which is there in this particular org. And it says if I click on plus, that means this particular lead I'm trying to add to this campaign members. So the moment I click on add, so you've added the this. And then if I send next. So do you want it to add to this campaign? Yes. Do you want the you know, response of this email something you want to send? So we say send. Keep existing member status. So I don't want to change anything about the status of these members. Now it says to this campaign, one member has been added. Look at this, there's a count it shows. So likewise, you can go to an existing customers, you can choose as many. So there are so many people here. So Jake, Edna Frank, and these are random contacts which we have. In, let's say these are, are the existing customer thing. And say next. So that's all for this campaign. We have a four existing customers, sorry, three existing customers and one new customer which just came in. Yes, getting. See so um, the contact, well, which, the contact which I'm showing could be an existing customers or may not be also. We can guarantee on that. Okay, one small question. Sorry to interrupt. So um, this, uh, for example, if we are creating for one lead, uh, one contact, mm -hmm. this process is fine. So is there any process that we can automate this? Like if, if we go to real time, uh, there'll be like hundreds and hundreds of people where we have to create as lead and then we have so to- So we say that you just go import leads and customer contacts. Import leads, it says you have an Excel bunch of you know, leads you have, all you can import to this kind of campaigns. Or you want to add leads, of course, you you want to choose a you know, list of uh, leads to add to this. See, in either way, we have to load it. So I'm saying bunch of users, if you say a bunch of contacts, if you say, 
so they are not currently they are not users here okay, some some record contact informations we have for example if someone is calling to you for you no know, would like to take a bank loan so that doesn't mean that you are already holding an account or you have a user login there they simply have your email id and a phone number that's it isn't it yeah. so in that case you are having a you have their contact details that's enough so your sales guy or marketing guy is loading the data to the sales force so while loading the data to sales force he is choosing whether this particular campaign i'm focusing on so then so go into this campaign and then i'm adding or uh, so let's say import leads so i know what are the fields would be there part of this to map it and then add the stuff so these are the marketing guys at the very beginning they will take care about it to how many number of users we are targeting for so i'm just giving an extra explanation here you have an a contact or you have a lead how to deal with them now source of the records which is coming in it could be this way i said already you can you can come with the marketing guys been loading your data or someone last in person they have showed interest those information automatically we are capturing in our salesforce so this is what we were saying right maybe someone showed interest automatically the record flowed to the salesforce so no one is creating on behalf of him so that is one case so we have some web to read form how a contact us page you have you filling there and those informations is flowing like this to us it will be directly linked to the campaign it could be okay okay um as i said i have to leave at 8:30 uh, no problem no problem uh, i'll i'll be leaving i'll just so make I'll another 10 minutes yeah i'll make okay. another 10 minutes and then i will also wind up today okay thank you bye guys thank you bye So any questions to you guys uh, if you have please let me know also can we use data import wizard or data loader to this is um, doing that only so when i say the moment to say import leads it is going to wizard oh it going to the wizard okay so we'll we'll see in the load chapter how um, specifically we are uploading the data stuff right okay. but otherwise it's very simple stuff go click there your excel sheet fields and our object what of the table field apis we have no are it is properly matching it then it will automatically the records goes and sit in the right place so we need not to i mean it's not that complicated so mapping of the field to field is easy and then the loading will go straight away sit in the records okay so now we have at least four people now i can say part of this we have leads also correct who is the leads uh, view all if i say i'll get all the details who is part of this campaign members so now this is a guy i know this is all the customers this guy can you know pick it in any time because they already showed interest already their customer to us so we can track them at any moment so this guy new guy who is coming in i mean was, was coming in um a name as looks like potential here maybe is a future guy but is is not the deal on the rating is hot here because it looks like he is you know he wanted to you know, feed something to his restaurant if i open an outlet in the mirpet so every time on a daily basis i would send so many uh, meals to this particular um, institute so it looks like the great opportunity so what i did is i just go to this lead so now what we do is we just go to this guy and see okay looks like this particular lead is been created and we don't know his expectation what it is so then we have to connect with him so maybe the moment when it comes automatically we say follow the user who i am i am the following one or it could be someone can create a task to follow up this guys who sales guys or marketing guys someone can follow up this guy because he is a new guy who is coming in because if you don't have a proper team to manage who are the leads new leads coming in so we will be losing the contacts or losing the leads anyway so what to do is let's say i am the sales guy who is working on to with this guy so i'll just connect with him maybe via through 
uh, a phone call or whatever the channel we have we're connecting with him so then i found this interested he is interested really to our uh, stuff so then i do is i just click on convert and then select status converted status so this is the moment at place where i you know showed in the diagram so your leads are trying to do a conversion maybe sales guy is like who i logged in he's trying to qualify you so that way i'm just trying to convert you while converting it is asking me hey what should be the the account name so that guy whatever the the company name is given it is become an account name and what is the record type that you doing with so so he is a business customer of course because he is not you know coming for only for his individual stuff he is coming for he is coming for his business maybe for entire you know for 50 60 people he has started targeting for so he is become a business customer sf training institute isn't it guys and then now again what if you don't find something the new name or um, you know that already an account is existing for existing customers so they can come and search here for example uh, if they choose individual see cooker pali individual customers if i just click on this and the new guy was coming in i can map that guy there so that way if he doesn't owns any company he becomes individual users now this company sf training institute is absolutely new company so i'm just clicking on this he is a business customer sf training institute is it? the account holder the name of the holding it or the company name now who become the contact of this particular you know, business customer company so mr boss is the one who is a contact because his name is mr i mean boss so automatically he is a point of contact for this sf training institute and should i need to create an opportunity right away or not so you can choose this this is an optional stuff if i say no this won't be created you see yes it it will be created for us so what is this you know opportunity to say so he is directly talking that okay i want so to this institute is already saying sf training institute 500 meals every day so this is an opportunity for this particular institute they want 500 meals every day or we can say lunch or we can say snacks meals you can have a self training institute or you don't want it's to be fine as a price so who is creating this your sales guys creating this stuff so of course the account name one one question here so every lead can be an opportunity at the same time or yeah okay. he is converted to be an opportunity because he is showed interest so then eventually we have to make him as an accountable uh, either is an individual or a business customer okay so because is these interests basically wanted to buy something out of us right so right. he has come here now i would show him um, at the very beginning he meant he said that this is interested but he had to choose the product okay fine agreed and some guy who already came in saying has in a pre built in his mind saying that i wanted to buy this particular product he is already choosy already chosen already which like find us snacks i wanted it are you guys affordable or not he is very straight forward so if find us snacks like what type of snacks that you wanted to give it so already look at choose our products which we have and then it's good enough to choose the products getting so, so if a guy, if a lead is already selected something then he is already he he becomes a customer right away right the moment when i try to convert a lead yes he becomes a customer to us okay okay at the very beginning of lead he is not the uh, no he is just the record as like okay. flat so we are qualifying him to be converted state some okay. sales guy is converting him closed converted so we know that this is this guy is capable of being a customer to us so that's the qualification he is doing it so okay. only then we are coming to this stage to convert stage okay. so then while converting we again so every time when a lead comes in it's not need not to be you know new customer only what if he is an existing customer of the same company 
so then we choose an existing account what if is already the content has been coming new or it is a duplicate list been created so we choose a new existing customer here or a contact here getting yeah yeah thanks so then opportunity won't be an existing if at all opportunity also is an existing you can choose them then who is the recorder who is going to create this so this is all fine to get into convert state so the moment you click on convert so we can see all three is created so opportunity is optional which not mandatory and one more thing on the opportunity is yes this guy is really know that which product you want to buy so then he is coming here so your lead has been converted our account has been created a customer account has been created an opportunity is also created so that is what it says in three record format here okay so if a good lead that lead would no more be there he has been already converted so it will be moved out there and then you have been here so generally if a good leads also so they don't show the closed converted state all open leads if you see also so they don't show the closed converted states so this is all working not contact or some other stuff see it's not there so that is not it's deleted so it is they not showing the closed converted records here you can query from the back end also you can see where the lead name is equal to like this and then share is equal to close converted it will show that record but ideally in the ui so they are not showing it if at all you want you can add a filter and show it you can go add a filter new filters and then say close converted you can get them but ideally in the ui i think they are not showing the close converted so that's the meaning of it so now let's keep jump into our um, now let's say this has been converted and everything is done so we go to sales and check whether we got a new customer and been all setup is done so we jump to accounts look at this when the moment i jumped in here i got this 30 days without any without any activity so without this first we have to close this someone has find us next meal every day so this is the one which is came in anyway so i'm just jumping into accounts and i'm seeing sf training institute which is newly came in and i'm clicking on that and we're not sure still to whom this guy is reporting to so now sales guy is thinking that okay sf training institute if this coming in which location is found into so now he comes here details he thinks that okay let me put it to amirpet so currently if not is an amirpet to whom should i report to so report to hyderabad directly report to hyderabad if once the setup is ready then we'll make it as once amirpet is ready so then we can report to amirpet later said unless and until they are reporting to hyderabad which is main branch of that area I don't have a account number. Other thing, all are good. Good. Save it. Basically, what I'm trying to say: any customer should relate or get to the nearest people where we can do a supply. If they come to a mirpet, so I don't have an outlet yet so far. They are just doing research. So to one particular place they wanted to report as of now. So which is I said, McDonald's Center, but I'm reporting. I cannot say Cooker Pulley. There's also a sub branch. So now, unless I open a branch, I would be reporting to this. Okay. Fine. That's an idea which you have. And um, okay, we have account here. If you go to the little list, I see contacts. Boss has been created. I see opportunities also is flowed in. So now, page prospecting. Yeah, opportunity at the very beginning when you create it won't be into the final stage. It is it's just the beginning of the opportunity because we qualified him as a lead, but well he really would buy the opportunity which we are you know showcasing to them. The products which we let's say the only ten products in Amirpet you display to him, do the ten products will suffice to his meal? 
it sort is his decision so that time he may be interested still or he may you know i don't want this opportunity anymore oh, okay. he can go also when you convert lead uh, in the process of conversion of lead you will be creating accounts contact and opportunities so it is not he is not final customer yet he still have to decide and then yes yes he is oh. just interested in the product now again we are showing still more onto the product side what it is and he is not still we have not closed him and we didn't get an amount yet so far <laughs> lead is just some, someone is interested and the amount we say that still more we are qualifying him he is moving to the next stage and that's how we get an opportunity when you say opportunity to which particular opportunity is being focused on i mean specifically to which product is focused on now i say find your meals so each each and every product that you have to choose and into find your times so likewise we do a calculative of amount how much it will be generated so far in the lead we never talked about an amount we just talked about who, you, who are you where are you from and what is your interest that is what we have taken the information there isn't it okay. in the opportunity we will be talking about the products and the price and something look at this expected revenue what is amount is been talking about so all this will be talking here now let's do one thing so we'll try to add the products to this products in the sense i know uh, if it is the mcdonald's company they should have meals right so different different types of products they should have it. so what i do is add products firstly i don't know whether the products we have here so let me go to the products and create my own new products So I come to product categories. I'll try to add new products. So then I can define. So product name is MCD. Okay, MCD. Hmm. And so we say veg burger. Veg burger large. Something that you do, and then you say MCD. V V L G zero one some which ways so this product product family pick list anything can have. You say it is in which category? It is in non-which category? You can have a product family. So let me add one more, and then MCD. Okay, good. We have a clone. So I all together we have new veg burger. No, this is non-veg burger lunch. So it will become. in me non veg burger i say safe so now two products we have these two products we have and one is having veg and one is having non veg all right so when when understanding about the products we have to understand very clearly uh Okay, if a product is there, what is the price for this product that we should be defined, right? Simply, product itself is not suffice anything. Every product will have price books. Price book means if you go to any restaurant, no, if you go to any outlet of purchasing a fridge or washing machine or something, they show you catalog. In that, the catalog they show you original price and they show the actual price. Have you ever seen that? Hello. hello yeah is everybody following me yeah i'm trying to understand how come there were two prices i didn't get that two prices where you said the original prices and then the catalog price something like that right so when you go to an outlet you know have you ever seen you went you went to an outlet I and you see the price and the, okay no you know you have ever seen in the catalog they show 
I don't know in India it happens. <laughs> no, even you see in the you know the mobile which you buy, they would say in the original price which is something very you know different price than actual price which you bought. The product in that the the price would be printed right. Let's say right. the price in the product which is printed in that box it is twenty thousand. You think maybe in the online you bought for twelve thousand. Now what is the difference? Where is twenty thousand and where is twelve thousand? Right, right. So could be a manufacturing actual cost would be there. and after discount something the list price would be different get it right so that is what i'm trying to make sense and um, and again mm-hmm. we may have a event or some uh, ex- some offers are running based on that and also i can reshuffle the prices let's say christmas sale yeah then for christmas sale i may give it for 5000 also 20000 mobile i can give for 5000 also so and again in normal time switching back from that normal price to What is it? Uh, the Christmas prices to the normal days. Then after switch back to ten percent. Now after reduce the discount back to the normal state. So moving this between the products to a day, now add a discount, price change, and again doing all this management is again a price book management we have. So for what what to do is for this, we know our product is same, but we keep changing the prices based on the newer sale, based on the Christmas sale again, a normal days, a winter season. Every change you bringing in, prices are only changing it, not the product, isn't it? Hey guys, sorry, uh, the network disturb. I think. Yeah. Okay, so we good. Let me share again. So if it is too much of data today, so we can continue tomorrow. If not, we can close up this and then we can move on. Um, okay, I was I I was able to follow till conversion of leading to I mean yeah creating those accounts. So you are not able to follow the opportunity side when you wanted to add a product that you are saying right? Yeah, and hey, it's just flatly we converted them and then I'm just simply adding the products. As of now, simply adding the products. No, adding a product was fine, but. This price you were telling, right? Yeah. So price is something that I understood the sale price and yeah, that I understood. But um, so we are just adding the price right now. After creating a product, we are adding the price. Yeah. And I'm choosing not only the price, and I'm okay. choosing to which particular price book they should fall under. Because I may have I always a custom price books. Price book, I say a price book name itself. I can say Christmas sale. So. Okay. If I say if I open a Christmas book sale, then all the products under the in that particular book, I can have a bunch of products only for this sale. Then I can create another price book in that I can at least the same products but having a different price. Okay, maybe after okay, I create. Can you I think, just show us one example? Yeah, once I think. Yeah, I create. Maybe we have an idea. That is what I'm saying. Um, a price book entry, like say McDonald's price book, standard price book, it says. I don't want the standard price book. I just create new say new price book. In this price book, what I'm going to do is, so I want to name it as New Year Sale. So in the New Year Sale, you may have a separate categories of products. In the Christmas Sale, you may have a separate category of products. All together for the New Year oh, Sale, so you can you can give. give You, you know, all, all together for the new sale, you can say flatly twenty percent off. So the, all the products under the new sale book okay. will have twenty percent flat discount like that. Oh, when we create the product itself, we can give the different kind of prices we need for whatever, um, like whenever we have the sale season or whatever the seasonal yeah. things, we can define the price when we create the product itself. Yeah. So actually, what they do is price book they create at the very beginning. Because they know which are the seasons that come, which are the different different offers that will come. Right. So they will get to know. So likewise, new year sale. I'm just doing, and I'm saving it. Is active. It's not a standard price book. I'm just creating the customer. Let's save it. Oh, it's taking too long to save it. Save it. 
Seldom there is a power cut, so that's the reason we got interrupted. And now it is getting saved. Let me refresh this. So let me come here and uh, see any price book got it no i say add standard price say so same no and if you have new year new year sale a price book which i have and then list list prices i'm giving it as five dollars non veg burger which you're giving for let's say ten dollars you're giving it Save it. So here we get different option, right? The previous, see you have active and product code here. When we put the previous price, you had something else. No, 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 wait, hold on. What did I put previously? <laughs> so look, at, I just give the product name, product code, mm. and what is the product description. Now I come to relate it. Let me add a standard price. First, let's add a standard okay. price. Mm -hmm. uh, standard price could be ten dollars, which original okay. price of the McDonald's is ten price ten ten dollars. Getting so now okay. I wanted to add to add to price book. Okay. So new sale, currency USD. Fine. Next. So now here I want to save, but because of new sale, I'm just selling it out to seven dollars. getting okay. yeah if someone chooses price book as new sale it will be seven dollars for them if someone chooses mm -hmm. price book as standard so then actual price it is again one more price book also i can have so where that the price book it says christmas sale i may give eight dollars or some season which you have uh, winter season no one needs this we give a five dollars so it depends it depends on the seasons you're selling it out the different price now let's say this non-veg burger for a newer sale, I could I could find for seven dollars. If if someone chooses this particular price book as standard price, that time they choose for ten dollars. Okay, so now why we have different types of price books is so when I'm dealing with my customer, so he's saying that <clears throat> okay, which particular price book I should choose is for this guy. Because should I choose this guy a standard price or should I put him into a newer sale? That is the price book which I have to choose. Now it is asking me, you want us to choose standard or newer? Getting. For this opportunity, mm -hmm. for I'm Mr. No, SF Institute Training Institute, I want to do, do, do a sale. So this is currently happening on the newer end. So we wanted to give him a newer offer. So that is what we displayed in the board. Now, if mm -hmm. I say a new year sale and I give a standard price to him, he will be like pissed off, right? You are given ten dollars and the actual price is ten dollars. Yeah. What is the difference? So, before adding them to calculate on the prices, I am choosing the price book. First, you have to choose the price book. I am saying new year sale. Now, part of the new year sale. Now, part of the new year sale price book is chosen. Add products and doing it. Look at this new year sale price book. For the new year sale, only one one particular product has been added so far. Now I'll tell them, boss, we have a product part of this, only one product is available, which is non-witch burger large. He says, okay, choose this to me. Get it? Now, how many products that you want? Sale price is seven seven dollars. I agree. How many quantities you want? I want two fifty. Sir, you're saying five hundred. So veg and non-witch can only you no know, book two hundred two fifty. So other I should go for veg. Okay. So one more product we have added, no? So that also we should be putting in here. Um, is enough? So what I've done so far, I've come to an opportunity, I've chosen the price book called New Sale, and I've added the products which I've added recently. And I've given product as quantity as 250. And the sale price we know for the new sale, they have given for seven dollars. If I choose on a standard price book, <laughs> so this would be for ten dollars. <laughs> so then mm -hmm. actual price won't be you know reflecting to him much. 
but this guy won't stop here he would ask a quotation for this and can you give discount moral so you can ask me so this is the a normal you know general talk recorder okay. okay so this was a previous session that we were dealing with um i think we have created the campaign and we have qualified the lead also yesterday like just converting yeah. them to a how would i say a lead i don't know if you guys have a questions uh you can tell to me about this marketing let's go look at the sales here kind of again recap let's do it for a minute and then jump on so what we doing is yesterday we just spent on created a campaign um so i think uh, to should i feel i have um, a missed out i just quickly can refresh here Yeah. So there's a campaign here which MCD McDonald the restaurant which we wanted to create. So what we did is we have created this campaign with have all this planned information and um, we put something expected around sixty thousand and then budget which we put ten thousand. Actual cost may change. So these are something like manually we have to fill it out. How many people just sent a campaign? Because the email. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was audible, right? Yeah. 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 Perfect. So the number of people which I sent for a campaign. So how many how many people have sent? And based on that, uh, some some responses come, and uh, you try to calculate manually, and then you write it here. Otherwise, if you see, post that a campaign is created. <clears throat> we know how a campaign members we added yesterday. either going to add leads which you can create an ad instant or you're trying to do from the data loader or already an existing customers are available you're trying to pull them and add it here so all these are possible so like this three of the people customers were there existing people i just simply added to this campaign members so why we have so many we may send an email to these guys we may send a send list emails to all the participants over there here i would enter a subject and i would send some content i send an email as best possible at 10 sends an email here basically what happens is this is a developer org so they have a limitation here since it is developer org so they sending it as turn of 10 email you can send it it's okay idly you can send the custom emails to the people in respective to To these campaign members, who are it is. Now, out of this one guy, yesterday I have chosen, um, whose name is um, Jigdish. So I clicked on him, and then I validated the leads. Let me check. I have one question, or maybe it is out of topic. Uh, so. so when when you are sending this bulk email for the leads right mm -hmm. so this is out of my curiosity is this tool also used to send like marketing emails like whatever we get from different uh, products and everything like products in the sense like if there is um, sale going on in anything or yes, we yes. get emails right okay so salesforce is used for that as well yeah so they have separate uh... Um, marketing cloud email management um, okay. so many things they have email specialist basically they call it as so you can uh, design the email such a way that it is all used for marketing stuff only okay okay something like this yes. if you see email specialist so basically it's a certifications we have um so market when you become a marketing specialist so you can send a, i mean it's a part of the marketing cloud some something we have related to email email marketing cloud because 
because directly the marketing systems are the production systems they don't have any sandboxes something like this you can see you see this this weekly office 15% going on cloud clicks right so they try to construct something um, but design away such a way that it looks good mm. so this is something like in email studio they try to prepare on this this is on marketing cloud i told mm. you right so a paradot paradot is a marketing cloud stuff so the paradot so paradot is a tool um so earlier people sales was had a marketing cloud so which we designing now and paradot was a separate company uh, so sales was acquired them so the moment they acquired them so a lot of even these guys are related to marketing guys only so after they merged so what of these guys had a um, features all it been merged here so what they did is separately they have you no know, constructed a marketing cloud itself as a different what we seeing here is a marketing it's an application and totally they brought this marketing cloud separately and then a um, couple of other options they are doing it anything related to marketing stuff digital marketing or uh, promotions all all they are trying to do into the uh, what do you call paradox because email management other stuff all become easy um and they do a lot of stuff here and again one more thing um, if you see paradox it is used for a marketing cloud then something called as exact target again uh, sales was acquired so this is also used for a marketing cloud which exact target is very specialist in the email stuff paradox is again doing a lot of configurations on automating the uh, to whom to send what to send when to send in what case uh, this marketing should fire so a lot of configurations has been done in the paradox so to to combine this both all this form into a marketing cloud getting okay. yeah okay <clears throat> so whatever you saying is is of course it is possible even in, in the current sales was system also it is possible here like what i do is you go send an email right sending an email if you have a template built something like that it is easy for us to use in sales was also the same way you not to go for a marketing cloud separate license getting okay. but yeah. when you talk about the marketing cloud license of the you know sending for emails today in a bulk of thousands or in lakhs so their price is different so what for a day limit what we have it is different so everything sales was calculated on the price so okay 1000 people okay what do you what do you arrange into this so then the price for that it differs all right <clears throat> so when well, yesterday i was trying to create a campaign and i added a campaign members couple of them so one of them was jagdish was the lead there so now we converted that lead into um what do you call the lead we converted so he becomes an account contacts and opportunities so today what i want to do is so we have an option called as um if you look at here how to create lead or how to convert leads all this we seen yesterday and here is the same thing how to get a campaign what is leads web to lead conversions so let's do this because i don't wanted to create a lead again so yesterday we have created lead and then we simply converted now let's see web to lead and and then lead should go to a specific what do you say uh, to the section or we create an html form so from there we can try to fire the leads stuff so today this is what we have to do is we have to create some form so i go here to the setup in the setup i tried to say web so in the marketing cloud we have web to lead okay if you don't see this you have to go all the way to the marketing section I'll see marketing section. In the feature settings, you have marketings. 
in the marketing staff campaign influence under that you can see somewhere web to leads okay so what is this web to lead if you seen so you are trying to construct a form and then um using the form we are trying to do some activity like so let me try to create a form look at this there's a form and this this is what they put into the company website like say contact us or you know, do you have any questions anything so if you are trying to investigate or if you something that you wanted to um, request for something it would be come as a lead for example it would be if i go to some policy bazaar policy bazaar yeah policy bazaar we have website you think in india so we seek for a loans or something like that you think so the very beginning they may ask you the question um so what is the price that you want to check the premiums if you see and um proceed with that card number so this guy asked a lot of questions and then finally asked me my phone number and email maybe i would have not signed for this guy at all but he is asking me a couple of questions and then finally is becoming <clears throat> trying to ask my phone number and email address but that way what we'll do is um let's quickly check on whatever the number random will be with these many questions they ask you to uh, generate um so you say how much is the amount that i have to pay for it so the not thing is which i have already have requested right so this guys any time they may call me i talk to expert i check for the plans something which i do this guys will get to know because i saw just now before uh, my information was having here <laughs> so this guys can call us anytime it's a big pain anyway so what i'm trying to say is you are trying to fill some form and based on that you're filling the information and they're asking your phone number and email address so you're trying to choose the plan i agree with this you have not chosen your left over this guys will get to know in this website this particular guy came in and he has looked for all of these options but he didn't pay it or he didn't buy it even we have leads this is actually lead generation for them now <laughs> do i simply search somehow my contact email address if it is present just before this two screens before but then this guys can call us any time so that, that is something automated way we are otherwise if you see any contact us page contact us page a couple of companies has a contact us page um where they fill up the informations to whom do i say ibm.com either these guys can be treated as this as a case or if you're interested in a product when we can say it as a okay case can be created for of this um done and support this is company website are crazy Let's go down. When this type of thing you see service request, so all this would become a case. So we'll talk about this mm, customer support case. Something on the product level, you ask a questions. Hey, I'm interested in this product. Can I do this? So the policy was was good enough. if i would have logged in they would have taken my number and everything so what i want what i want to say is you have a form to fill up and which product you are interested in or interested in the product you are just you know syndicating that you are interested with so it will be same as <clears throat> something like a service request form only so they asking sign in to raise a request so i will tell you this all are like uh, knowledge articles will come there any other simple websites will have 
आणि कंपनी भेट करून जाऊ I don't know. In this contact us form, they have a form or not? No. Look at this. So this is a form which I was talking about. Uh, first name, last name, job title, all is giving. And a very good UI format of the contact us form. So if you something like in a product you are interested with and you submit the form like this. So we would try to generate as a lead and listen until something like a product is going on here. So then we say it is a lead or in any company, like say upcoming um, product has been going on um, so 10 days left whoever is interested drop your interest so we will get back to you and that product will be delivered to you let's say iphone 13 is coming in market in indian market is same and uh, people who are interested please fill the form now people who are interested they are filling the form for iphone 13 um, so that they all are leads only they could be an existing customers they could be new customers also because just before this form there will be a videos about the iphone 13 so many people should be impressed with and since it's already a well-known company so product wise and the you know the quality no one can compromise so that way people running and then filling up the form so why i'm saying all of this is so on a product if something is interested you have a form to fill up and this form what we're going to generate now can be injected this way how contactless has been injected today and that can be turned as a lead to you know, web to lead also. The same way web to case also is we have something on the support cases we request raise a request. So let me choose a form, create a web to lead form. I'm choosing which are the fields required: first name, last name, email, company, site, prompts. Okay. If something like a product we are interested with, so we can add the products. We can add the products but before that i want to check before that i want to check in this web to lead or uh, in the lead object what is product interest is let me go to object manager because we have to be specific on, on which product is you know requesting so this setup is already i have one question here um so you gave us a you were showing us the example of web to lead when you went for wipro and various websites yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay and what exactly is the difference between web to lead and the lead what we generate from Salesforce? See, web to lead is something that the um, customer itself has been entered from their website and he came to us. Okay, okay. And here okay. we generate it. Okay, got it. So, whereas we, as a marketing guy, we are creating on behalf of them or we're loading the data on behalf of them. Okay. Or if you're running a trade show, this guy came in front of me and he's saying that I'm interested. Okay, I'm filling the form right away. Yeah. Okay. This web to lead is all about a persons who are interested. They are they are talking to us. So now the product interest. Let me check here. Mm. So this is some random numbers they have, but ideally we have to have our own pick list here. Like yesterday we created right. So let me get that product here. Mm. Well, only then it will be realistic. Or else something else it will be products. Don't mind two minutes, I'll take and just add another. Okay, let me copy this. I will say new. So what I'm trying to do is there's a field called as product interest in the lead object. I'm trying to add those two products to us. Why? Because uh, in the web form, if it is there, it will be good enough to me. Copy, paste, and then so this way two products I'm inserting. Assume these two products are available for lead generation which is non veg burger and veg burger large and there were something other fields like say gcc and all i will deactivate this stuff i don't want to. 
So GC 500, 5000 says I'll talk about something machine, I don't know. Which is not helping us. Okay. Absolutely, two fields we have, uh, two products we have. So guys, don't assume that um, this is just a pick list. This is random pick list, which they had it. I threw one of them um, because someone is coming as part of our lead interest. I want to show which product this guy is really interested in. So I have just your pick list value. Doesn't have any relationship to our product table yet. It's just simply a pick list value. Relationship means what? One table to another table, you didn't link and then you didn't look up the record and didn't save. No, that way it's not. It's just a simple pick list. Call as product interest. All right. Um, so we are, we are on to the lead generation. I just added the product interest so that that product will come and uh, people outside the world, like a client or maybe the end users, who are trying to generate a lead for us. How? He's saying that I'm interested in this particular product. So he's just giving me an offer. Now, if you have a farm and then you have a successful indication, you need to have a thanks message, right? Mm, some people would say thanking, thanking message. Thanking web, thanking web page, let's say, if I have anywhere, I can get it. It's all going for thank you examples. So let's see. On success of the page, it should say me something thank you like this. We don't care what it is, it will come to this website. What do you mean by that? I'm saying, the moment you submit the form, it should go to a thank you page, saying that thanks for your interest. On our product, something that message you showed. So we don't have such URL, such page we didn't create at all. So somewhere it should redirect only then i assume that the form is submitted successfully so if you want to have a capture you can have a capture so there we need to enter some keys and all so we don't have these keys so just simple put as default so all these simple forms we have and then we're simply trying to generate the form and what are the fields you added so based on that it created a form for us now this form only people are trying to inject in so this way so this is a nice UI you have, no? So ours is very flat UI. The moment you try to, you know, have such UI, you put that all the forms here, even that would look like this way. Let me try to save that form. So this is a form right now I've created it. Where? From a web to lead, I just simply copied here and then I pasted here. So what it is contains, it says form action, if something is a success, oh no, form action, go to this, whatever the form is submitting, go to this, it says. There's some server logic there written, web to lead, take all this information, it goes in post. Because the information which you're sending, it's in post. All these are HTML stuff. So this is our org ID. In your company informations, you see org ID. It's just about the edition. We say developer edition, right? Just before that, you can see org ID. So this is org ID. Why? Because the form which we're sending is we're targeting to this org, which called org, which is hidden. So this particular field which goes in hidden, need not to be worried about. So this servlet will pick the information from this form. Okay, this is an org ID, and this is the return URL. Post your success of you know, inserting all these values in. So this goes you know, return URL. That something says thank you URL something. And again, so these are the labels we have. Let's say first name, last name, email company max length and then uh, product interest. So we have something called as um, McDonald wedge burger and so okay, non wedge burger and wedge burger both we have here. Isn't both are same? MCD, wedge burger, both are same. is my pick list value has some both the same. How come? Let me come here. 
just go back. I just brought interest. Again, let me generate. Mm. This time, non which is added. Let me just copy this. So let me save this as HTML format. So let's say batch 33 web to lead, okay? Batch 33 web to lead. So let me run this in Chrome. So this form is what would look if you have a proper CSS and stylings would look like this, isn't it? The yes. same form could be bought up this way, but based, based on the CSS, what are the designing apps we have, we could have bought that way. But however, you see, uh, this is the form that we have. Here it says, which particular product that gave these guys interested with. That is something that we added to the picture, so it's showing here. So let me give you the name. Mm. Company, you may give a company or may not be. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. This one may not be required. It's okay, fine. So, in instance, veg burger is yes, let's say and click on submit. So assume you are submitting a form where with the particular product that you're interested in, um, some something like this you have. So I say it's a web to lead your form, you're submitting it. Is that submit? So the moment it is success, it should go to my success page and say, Hey, thank you for submitting your thing. I mean, if you have a proper page, I'm saying randomly I've taken a thank you here and I'm saying thank you page, whatever it is. So assume thanks for submitting uh, your feedback. We'll get you know, thanks for submitting your interest, we'll get back to you. Some message will show here and then you would go off. So why I've written here is written your list. It, it says that I have submitted the form that I should expect some value issue, you know, in my records here. Is that leads campaign? If you just go to the lead section, you can see them. And this recently. All open leads. You see this bucket thing come here. And this is how a web tool leads been created. It says his product interest is this. And then open not contact, company, email, other stuff, all we all all informations we have here. Now this particular guy, I can go and add to our campaign. So that was the another, another idea. So web to lead via through web to lead also if you come, I can add through campaigns. I just go to campaign, mere bit, and add. Recently, someone who has come as web to lead. I want to add the leads there. This is bucket thing is already come. Because there's a recent list which just came in, I'm just adding directly and then say next. And we wanted to send or contact him. Assume that we have sent an email to him. So now, Bhagat is added to this. Suppose this, I can go, I can say that, okay, we all. So Bhagat is looks like potential guy, I wanted to convert this guy. So now I clicked on him. I just started working with him, so it seems that he's he's really interested with us. And then he wanted to he really wanted to convert the lead stuff where he wanted to purchase something, the products which we have here. Again, let's assume that this guy is also 
uh, running a training institute. Let's see, Tar Institute. So it's running a Tar Institute and no, let's put this Tar Manufacturer. Tar Manufacturer and he is the operation head. So see the lead source, you can also manage that automatically, whichever the values is coming, you can pre-assign the value called as web <coughs> industry. So manufacturing, if something have our machinery, yeah. And it'll turn to this company somewhere here, I think. Mm. Okay. No, as him sales guy has been asked him a couple of questions and based on that he got all of these informations now <clears throat> so we are going to convert the lead so i'll converting the lead they're asking you a question hey now the account contact and opportunity we are going to create so what do you want to do is this is a new account and we have record types of three so we are not creating any restaurant so he's a business customer so he's asking um for his manufacturer unit he wants a couple of orders so every day evening snacks he wanted it so that way so that manufacturer is asking it so business customer i'm seeing here this is an account name and this is his contact name now whatever the leads we have it has been converted to contact so we have this and then opportunity we have so we say tar manufacturer mm, so thousand evening meals he wanted it evening meals so this is an opportunity name if you have an existing opportunity you can choose it here or else it's just this this is the one which we have so why i say close converted that means he's qualified so because based on interest i'm saying he's a qualified guy and let him create today he may order only five or ten or tomorrow he may can come up based on the new products which we know introduce into the market so we can show them um let's say for his evening snacks is buying only thousand so post again two more products we are introduced into the market we can recommend them hey would you love, like also to add this so we're giving a free offer there only you know you have to pay a little one dollar extra where your employees would be happy with having two more meals extra additional to this but the same cost something we show that a new products when it comes in so these are our existing customers we would pitch into them and we say that this is the a new products is coming in market would you like to have for your uh evening snacks or meals somehow we try to promote our new, new products which is coming in unless and until they become a customer only then we can do it okay so if this guy is converted successfully okay fine for a close converted we say that this they are not really interested but we would be throwing stones on them every now and then we'll throw stones on them so the, somehow they came in but they're not interested fine at least five trials we'll do it with them <laughs> whether they're not interested though but not the same way which we are doing it like from the mcdonald's and we will not talk to them we have our vendors where uh, they will talk to them you know convincing sir uh, how about the products like that some something that we will get a close connectivity of these guys but actual company they will not do because that's a crazy things you have a company you have run already you have an existing customer they left you still we will try to pull them in so they are called something um, retention uh, something they say so people should do retention or else the customer will keep going or company or customer which is already went off also you can focus on them so basically there's something called retention now what i'm trying to do is i'm just converting the lead which has came in as a web to lead and choosing the lead converted state i have to create all of them opposite is not the man determined so i'm just doing creating it here okay cool now look at this when we go to lead sections this will not have anymore because you know that the moment you convert the lead the close convert is success so the status has got changed so what i want to do is i want to go to this account directly now and i could see contact is present here and opportunity is present here so actually what we did is we just went on to create a products so here is your products
what it did is yesterday we went on created a products so part of this products when we were trying to create what i was doing is i was adding the price book to it so now let's say today i wanted to add one more product and then if you guys little make sense then we can do it what i'll do is i'll go all together to a product and i'll add a new product this is just randomly going to a products see if you don't have a tabs here if you don't have a tabs here what you do is so you go select from here you go select from here and then you say products these are the recent products we have i'm going to click on new product so that time you have to enter the product information so i say mcd colon wedge past them and photograms mcd which pasta so this is 150 grams i'm saying this active this is a new product which i'm adding to mcdonald's save it now we know just the product has been created it is doesn't belong to any price or a price book i already told you yesterday that something always we create a product it should fall into some price book why we say price book or you have a standard price for this this is just defined a product it doesn't have any price associated to this so what should we do is i have to create a standard price standard price in sense the very beginning in the market when it comes you, the company manufacturer is deciding a price so that's called standard price uh, because it's a default price book we have whatever the price book tomorrow you say christmas uh, new year if that all this is going to vanish at least one standard price book should be there always so that's the reason standard price book will have always let's say for this pasta i would charge five dollars again so whenever people chooses standard price book so this would be their part of it now if i still wanted to add to a new christmas price book new new year sale price book if i want to do i can still do it I still create a new year sell price book and I choose the current C as USD and say next. So for the new year sale, I'm not giving for five dollars. I'm just saying that I'm just saying for four dollars. Yes, getting. So if someone chooses new year price book, so that time four dollars is calculated. If they choose standard price, five dollars is calculated. Yes, getting. So if you still wanted to add a uh, price book, so you can create new price books here. What are products? Is add a price book on the right. Now this shows the there's no new options here. Oh, okay. So yesterday when we're trying to do, yesterday when we're trying to create a new product, I think it's at the very beginning of product it comes in. Correct. At the beginning of product, it allows us to do that. Let's say one more product. Let me add MCD. So all are audible, right? Yeah. Yes. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a new product again. So this is a product name, product code, description, whatever I am, and I'm saving it. So this is absolutely a new product which is again added. So I'm going to the related list. So I'm just trying to do an added standard price. 
So now, if I wanted to choose, I don't want this price book. I wanted to create my own price book. So you can create the price book here. So this time, so I'm choosing the, let me go slow here. So you already have a standard price book like this, it was. When, at the moment I wanted to add a new price book, add a standard price book, I said, you're telling that, hey, I don't want to have a standard price book. Directly you're saying that I will be part of a new sale. But I'm saying that I will get a new price book, saying that it could be, Christmas. So Christmas here in sale. So we'll have flat 10% discount. We say this way, but we'll calculate the state. I'm saying active. Is it a standard price book? No, it's not a standard price book. We are just creating custom. Christmas air and sale and flat 10 percent giving it. And now that we're trying to add it and then give some price here. Let's say $3 I'm giving it. So why it should throw error? Boss, you don't have standard price book only for this. You're trying to create a custom one. That is what the error is. Any product I told you, you create, you need to have a standard price book price for deep world. We can't skip them because today you say that new in sale and you have a uh, maybe Christmas sale. What if all this vanish? Or if you delete that options, standard price book should be always there. So the manufacturer would not intentionally create on for the Christmas sale only. He is creating this product for all the time. And for a sale, we are trying to you know, get them into a Christmas or to the new sale. So no products is manufactured only for this Christmas sale. I'll do it. Then after that, I'll not manufacture at all. It's not like that. So these pastas always would be present. So we should have a standard price for this. So what I do is I would just say it's standard price choose first this. And I say this is a $6 price. And I'm just saving it. Now I know by default, which pasta, non which pasta is $6. So now I let me try to add a price book for it. So let's say now Christmas here and sale and say USD and say next. For Christmas here and sale, I'm just giving for this for $5. So they're asking, do you want to still use a standard one? So then if I use standard one, then, then there is no use of this particular price book. You can still keep the standard price, however it is. However, whatever the manufacturing cost, same thing, you can set it up. No issue with that. And you can give discounts on for the Christmas also. So non which pasta 200 grams is there in the Christmas year and sale. I want to add them even for the new year as well. But new year I'm sale, I'm just giving them the flat 50% offer for three, three dollars I'm giving it. There's any questions in, in adding the products, price books, and then associate prices. If you have any questions, you can ask me now. Or you can ask me why this is all you're doing it. I can answer that also. Is there anyone? Yeah, I'm here. I understand. So what about Tushir and Jamsil? Got it. Got to. Okay, perfect. So we have created a product and we have created a price books. Price books for different, different sales we have. But this is a mandatory one we need to always have. And these are the two custom things we created it. Now, you, if you in a normal time sale, I would choose standard price and then go on with the deal. So at that time, my store will open only with the standard price, flat price it is, whatever the manufacturing cost. Maybe on to the vacations when it comes, no special days, we'll, we'll you know, sell in these prices. At that day, all my price book would change to the Christmas. Whoever is as, as having the Christmas, that particular price will impact on that particular day. Okay, so we are good here. Products are there. Now let's go to a Bhagat Singh account. And go to manufacturing unit. So this is an opportunity which we have. So just now we converted, right? We don't have any other information here. We don't have any information here present. 
So what we're trying to do is we are trying to add a product for this guy because he said that he is interested in um, uh, some veggie burger, something which we got in the lead side. Now, such products we have to search. We have just chosen the pick list. Now we have to choose a product. But before choosing the product for for burger things company, so which price we are going to choose it? Is it for the long term we are going to do? Or for a shorter period for this guy for three months we are charging this particular price box so i'm choosing a price book here so three options we should have what is christmas there in sale new year sale standard price standard price is a flat price which you're given as a manufacturing product now let's say new year sale so the moment i say new year sale as a price book there for that particular price book which all the products are tied up all that will show for example look at this add products when i say you choose a new year sale so that's the reason we have these many products in the new year sale so anytime you add a product add a price book to that particular um, new year sale if you say which are the products tied up to that all it will list here so mcd non-veg burger non-veg pasta veg pasta so all we have getting here and this all the prices is for new year sale if you say actual cost of this is ten dollars, actual cost of this is six dollars, and this is maybe five dollars something. Look at this, we have reduced the prices in the new year sale, and this is what it is applying. It's getting now. He says is I'm interested in all of these three because it is all for the new year and sale. I wanted all of these three. So we're just getting next. Now he said for thousand people he wanted to order, right? So a thousand people he found order for the non-veg burger is ordering for his company for oh, sorry. 300 is ordering and again 300 is ordering and the remaining 400 is all veggies ordering. So when it is all these products are required to you, it could be recurrence based. Now, whatever the price that has been added here, based on that, it is calculating the amount on the right, left hand side if you see. So these are the three products that you added. Seven into 300 is some price. Three into 300 is some price. So overall, it is giving me the bulk amount of something. If you check here, prospecting stage, the original amount, 10% is what this is. Getting the original amount the original amount is 4,600. You see the expected revenue is 10%. Why? Because stage is prospecting. Maybe you are just connecting with that guy for the very beginning stage. Maybe you are still in the value proposition or you are trying to discuss with him more about the what is happening and we are submitting in the proposal state. Something like this, different different state, we have different different percentage increment. Let's assume. So we have presented this price all to him. He says, I, am, I want to do he says that I want to do need analysis. I want to compare the product with other vendors who are supplying to you. So that way, he's actually from the proper prospecting to he's incremented his way. That is something he's showing interest towards this. So a needs analysis is 30 percentage weightage or so 20 percent. Okay. So the 20 percent is 4,600 dollars. 20 percent is 9,920 dollars. Now tomorrow is interested. Okay, he's he's doing some decision. Is is making is connecting with the company and then he's making some decision. Who? Bagat Singh. Our sales guys are connect, you know, connecting or following up them regularly. So he says that where they stand now. So is is you no know, decision makers are, are decis deciding on this on every day thousand meals we require. So then what is the cost price? So now it is incremented to sixty percent of the property because they are they are moving ahead now to with the connecting with their company and they're saying that we are next moving next. So that way, for the products, whatever we calculated, four thousand dollars overall it will be, and two thousand seven hundred dollars expected because we are incrementing there. So the moment we say close converted, we think that hundred percent of the amount would be credited to our account. I mean that is he said that is okay to the deal, and don't worry have to sign the papers. So the amount would be credited. I mean they are trying to make the deal. 
so making the deal they are half the way so that's the reason the percentage is half the way and the same amount is half so who, who all tries to connect with this is to the bucket saying our sales representatives will try to keep connecting with them and following the what is happening there Is any questions? So, do we need to remember all these uh, terminologies on the on the workflow like ID decision perception? No, 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 not required. Okay. At least two, three. Remember, in opportunity stage, so there will be a prospecting stage. It opens the prospecting stage, and see, basically, you do know. So, I also said that I would do a lead qualifications. So, I may, yeah. I would have contacted him, not contacted him. I am working with him. I have not worked with him. And I've converted him or not converted him. So how do I say now? So just like normal general talk, right? Mm -hmm. Same way here also. So I have just prospected him. I qualified him whether that guy should make a decision or not. And it left on with them. So you can have at least four or five. We can talk to these guys. I mean, when you're talking about opportunity, four or five, at least you can tell. Either you say you are prospecting, you are saying that you are qualifying him or something they do a proposal or still in their negotiation state, they have to get closed. Then we'll do a close one or close loss. Something what's, at least four or five, you remember. Okay, what's this expected revenue? I mean, you're not receiving that money until the opportunity is closed, right? Yeah. Of course, this, I mean, when you say an opportunity, we are in a progressing stage. So when we are doing a progressing work, we expect that. <laughs> so this amount, if you keep adding, you know, it will be like a wow to people. Like who's the formula, feel how, how the value is being. Yes. This is the original amount into the percentage calculated by this. Then your amount will get as an expected revenue. And is it def default uh, rate for each stage? Yeah, About we can also define this. We go can go to the pick list of this probability stage. So okay. for this particular stage, you're choosing 60 percentage. Okay. And this is provided by the sales force. This is provided by the sales force. You can change for the decision maker as even 70, 80 also. It is the left to you. And even you can change the stage Field values? Yes, yes. Right now we have all these perception, proposal, yeah. or negotiation. If you want, we can have custom. So custom all these are you have to go to an object manager, like how we went to the lead pick list value. Same way you will go to uh, I I think you have to go to support process once again. Sales process. So something called sales process we have. So here you have to define. So this page is to create and maintain sales process used within our organizations. A sales process contains stages and opportunities arise through sales cycle. Yes, this is the one. Why we say, uh, let's say um, McDonald's. I don't. If you if you think that it doesn't make sense, why we have so many stages in McDonald's? A simple three or four stages only we have. You would say, then you have to have your own customization, right? Mm -hmm. Sales process. So we don't turn you know, a long bread of 10 steps. We may have only three or four steps to close the deal of the opportunity. You can have a custom sales process. So now they ask you the question is, so what do you want to be here? So you want to prospecting here? Okay. So these are the selected items I say. I don't want all this. I can get the prospecting. And directly I'll jump in if you say that. Valid proposition is he's doing the proposition with the company and negotiation is going on. No, no. Uh, we are proposing the price and quote and then negotiation is going on still. Close one or close last. Look at this, we have thrown out four here and I'm saving it. Is it getting? Uh, are you doing something on your screen? I'm not, I don't, I'm not seeing any, anything on your screen. Is it? For this two? You said no, I, can you? To see. I can see. I mean, I can see the screen, but did you make any changes? Did you move any options to selected values? Yeah. So all the selected values, this all four were in the selected values. I thrown this out to the left side. So this is available pick list values. Okay. So now how it comes to the available pick list values is you have to go to the object manager of the opportunity and you can add your own custom value also there. 
Okay. Uh, are you moving anything on your screen? Because I see your pointer is uh, stuck at prospecting. I don't see no. anything. <laughs> Or tell me about guys others uh, how do you really feel so the same thing mm, we are able to see the we, yeah oh you went into opportunity and you yeah i went into opportunity i am just in the field of energy now i see it's moving it's moving okay so now we have to jump into a stage opportunity stage i need to go to the pick list stage now go to this stage Do you see this here? Mm-hmm. Prospecting, open, probability, pipeline, sign. So like this, for each value you add it, you put a probability there. So if I say new, I say restaurant. What is the value? So it's a customer, right? Mm-hmm. sign up contract sign the deal okay i put this something called as sign the deal initial deal to sign okay initial deal to sign something i'm saying uh, this guy i have to so he is in he is in negotiation is saying right so if you like to say you no know, do an initial sign that is yes of course i will buy for you then i give 10% extra to him is getting he says that in a negotiation state i will do a sign now only before going the company if they drag in and then they take little time so they can do a initial sign while doing the initial sign we give 10% extra to them but this is something for our customers who are like dragging and then it's moving on so they're not moving working properly for them it is probability is so in this stage we say 90% again why because he signed in and i want this mcd sales process to be added with see Look at this. Is getting? Initial deal to sign. Open ninety percent is here. It's already came in here. Why? Because while adding only, I said that go add to this MDCD sales process. Is any questions? No. Okay, let me come to our opportunity. So we have these many stages, right? So look at this. The reason which I added is coming here. Initial deal to sign. Initial deal to sign. So by marking this, it is helpful to the people. it gets the 90 percentage of it this is the one which i custom created so initial deal i put already as a stage as 90 percentage so out of 4600 dollars you can expect 4140 so we are something we are under the 90% stage so before getting converted here so this guy is expecting for a give me a proposal quote so is asking for give me a proposal quote so quote is not yet enabled here so we'll discuss that tomorrow so we are on to the product management price book management how to add the products to the opportunity how to manage the opportunity still we are there and today we created how to create web to lead also we've done with 
in terms of um, chapter eight. Chapter eight, I think we have created a campaign, how to create a campaign, leads, what leads, account content opportunity, all is done. We are in, we are in the seven chapters where we're trying to do last with the quote management. If we do so, sales and marketing is already done. And then we would jump onto the case side, the ninth chapter. Okay. Uh, can, uh, how do you, how did you do this in the opportunity object to add this initial? Just go to opportunity stage. There's a field called stage, very called stage name. And you see the downside, you all have the, you can add a new value. You can add the probability. Okay. So initial deal to sign. It's a 90 percentage. And you say that this was this is that the last I want to reorder them. You can reorder them. No, I'm I'm in object page opportunity page now, fields and relationship. Okay. Go ahead, search for the uh -huh. stage. fields and relationships stage, search for stage. After mm -hmm. clicking on a stage, you can come down and see. You can see the fields, couple of fields, what it is. What you is the add... sales process? What did you do in sales process? Sales process is the one which we try to create our own custom thing. So now what it is, I have to map the sales process to this opportunity stage. So that I didn't do it. Okay. That I didn't do it. So this is absolutely all the 11 values all would be showing here in my, um, in my here. How do you so assign? That, so uh, you have, I think you have to go to a page layout and you have to assign. I have to check that. Okay, in page layout, okay. Let me check. I didn't assign it. Yeah. I don't think yeah also. Okay. Uh, associate with one or more opportunity record type. Mm -hmm. Now, if you click on the sales process, they said once you create the sales process, you have to link it up to record types. So we don't have a record type there. For example, if we just go here, lightning and record pages we have. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, that's only we have MCD sales per skin got here. So next. Yeah. If that particular record type layout is assigned, only then they can see this all the stuff. Yeah, record type is the only solutions we have. So now you go to tar. Yeah, we're able to change it. This is this. So what did I do? I just went on to the sales process. I just went on to the sales process. I created the sales process stuff, MCD sales process. Okay, then what happened? Went on to the opportunity, record types. I tried to create a record type. So that time I choose the sales process here. 
you know i simply named as master only so don't problem with them no problem with that so then what happen is um if you're trying to create a new record but default it will choose this is a record type since this i already created for a tar manufacturer it asked me to do want to change the record type i asked to choose change record type so by default master was chosen there if it is not chosen as master it will ask you to choose so then that's how i chosen i have all the the latest which i wanted to decide for this particular design so i have five only here not as 10 as early we had so that's all the problem okay so we have created the you no know, products and added price books audit and all the prices has been displaying here if i do a closed one so this guy would be done with the closed one but what i want to do is i want to add a quote for this guy quote means i need to generate a quote so this guy will accept the quote even in the quote also he may ask for a discount though is into the new year sales this is already discounted since he's getting it every day you know you know presenting 1000 meals so he want to still more discount on to it is asking quotation for this mm -hmm. in for the quotation discount we can give it so let's do the quotation discount and then finally we'll close this deal so then finally some amount will be reflected here so let's see that fine guys hey one question is uh, are you guys free today my evening yeah i'm free i'm free too what about jam city mm -hmm. Yeah, what time? So what what time would you work for, guys? Because tomorrow I will not take in the morning. Um, just a minute. Okay. I think in the previous class we have covered with the uh, lead management and also the campaign management. Any times we're talking about the campaigns is all about talks about the marketing stuff. How do we promote the product to the the end users or the customers? To that point, we have created the campaign. We created the leads. Now do we convert? The moment we convert, we know all the leads information, so like say leads, a company information, whatever that he has given, all mapped to accounts, and all the um, what to say leads, basic contact informations we have all flowed to contacts, and the what. the product which was interested in to buy out so all that flowed to the opportunity so opportunity is an optional you just you can create or not so based on this so i think you have missed a question to ask me so while i'm trying to convert a lead what if there is a new field or new custom field which i have in lead even that i wanted to map to contacts and accounts something like this since so far um, we have been converted a lead and we know that all what are the monetary fields we have there all that is got to be account what if you're trying to create some custom field here in the lead and the custom field that you wanted to again send it to account so that we didn't have an idea on to just to start with that let me quickly give uh, that point and then start uh, lead map Let me jump into lead settings and check. So there are few other, uh, <clears throat> but default few things they have. Whenever a lead is been created, notify the owner or something. So when you connect, what we things to be done? Enable conversion for sales mobiles. Even for sales mobiles, you can log in and convert. Mm. Don't create an opportunity by default. Also, you can do, or you can assign the task the specific when it has been creating here. This is all fine. Mm. Mm. Okay, I need to go to leads only thing. Let me jump into here. Leads. <clears throat> yeah, classic. There is totally different stuff. Separate mapping thing we had. Mm. Here we have. So for for early <laughs> this map fields were there in the you know proper settings of lead and now they brought I mean they were brought up to a specific object. This makes more sense. 
Why? Because you are lead object, map leads. It makes more sense. So what I'm trying to say is map leads is, let's say two, three custom fields you created. And whenever you try to generate a account, so the moment you convert leads, we, we get into an account, right? We get a contact, we get an opportunity. Isn't it? Yeah. So whatever the custom fields that you created, let's say ABC, XYZ, these are the two custom fields you created in a lead. Now, these particular fields you wanted to map to account, contact, and opportunity. Why? Because that is your custom fields. You wanted to keep all the values across. So such fields is not already mapped. Only default standard fields, which was came as out of box, those fields are mapped. So only when you try to create an account, sorry, when you're trying to convert a lead, it is having account, contact, and opportunities with the record is automatically flowing in. Each and every field, they're not showing it. Only the names highlighted, they are showing in converted uh, the window. Getting? So you just saw the name of the account, you saw the name of the contact, you saw the name of the opportunity, that's it. So what internally fields, what are things you're copying, you know, you not, not don't have an idea at all, correct? How many fields are copying? So you don't have an idea. <clears throat> so likewise, if you have a custom fields in leads you have created and someone entering a data in the lead, you wanted to copy that value to a account or corporation or something. So this is the right place where you say, uh, in the account, in the lead, in the lead object, we have something called as, let's say number of locations. Number of locations, the same type of data types, you don't have an opportunity. So you should make sure whatever the fields in lead you have, X, Y, Z, same thing, the field you should, should create an opportunity called as something as whatever the X, Y, Z, then X, Y, Z to X, Y, Z, you map it. So the moment you convert a lead, okay, this particular uh, lead field is copied to the opportunities X, Y, Z. So make sense? Yeah. Basically, I'm saying that if you have a custom fields mapping, you have to do it this way. We assume that, okay, lead is converted, all the values will copy there. How about your custom fields? Custom fields don't copy. So you should manually map that, hey, this is A, which is going to that opportunity A. Okay, this A is going to opportunity, not to, to the contact A. You need to map it, those fields, in the respective objects. And of course, the data type, all other some you know, things should be the same. If XYZ data type is text, please assign to a you know, field, there is an you know, opportunity, there's a text. Only then it makes sense. So any questions, Zemsil? No, I'm good. <clears throat> okay, so this is how we do a lead specific mapping. All right. <clears throat> which we missed or you know, to say about this point. Because we know our lead conversion, everything we done. What if it is custom things comes in? So we were like, I mean, I, we didn't touch about it. <clears throat> okay, good thing. Now we came to lead management again, how to create lead, web to lead, normally all we got to know. So we in this chapter sales cloud is typically on the opportunity management. We jumped into our products, we created a couple of products. And then we all put into a price book, like say Christmas, New Year, or whatever. And then for respective opportunity, we added the price book. And then we started adding the products. That is what what least a recent class we have did through. So if you come to here an opportunity, so in the recent opportunity is, I don't know which one, Thaos, yeah, Thar Manufacturers. So if you see, this is $4,600 and we have three products here. So this guy is 1,000 meals maybe every day. So he is saying that the quantity is 300 per day and to get 300 for this and 400 for the wedge. So we know already, so this is XYZ products have been there. It's part of the newest sale. So we have already discounted amounted here. So he's asking, uh, where's Mr. Mr. Jack this, I think. He didn't conclude the deal yet. He says, if it, if it is initial deal to sign, now if, you, if it is if it does a sign, so we may give a 5% to him. Why? Because this customer is like, see, he's dragging, he's not doing. It says, see, two days in initial deal to sign. If, if this particular status, it is being there only for the last two days or three days, if you think. It will say that, hey boss, it is two days in here only. No any progress. 
This is sales was features, which they say two days initial because two days before we class with it and we mark the last date and then we left out. Now what I'm trying to say is, <clears throat> um, let's say this is driving deal, which you want to say for this guy. If you sign up with him now, we may give additional 5% discount to you on the product. It's his wish. Again, the price book would be having for respect to 5% price book, whatever. Um, that we can change it and then the later on this particular value is also would discounted whatever but this guy didn't ask for a negotiation negotiation it's like didn't ask for a quote please provide, provide, you know, provide me quote now this guy is asking for a quote well, so far the quote is not no initiated in this hour how do you do his quote Go to home. Go to code. Sorry, share code settings. You have to go and then enable the code settings. At the very beginning of your org, you don't have this code to be enabled. So we need to manually go and enable the code. Uh -huh. So maybe you have, if it is a fresh org, then you are you're responsible to do it. If a company is already working on the sales stuff, which is done with the code, so they would have done way back. So you're just going to start implementing on those, whichever was the existing things. See, all the projects are not by scratch project, and all the projects should not be like already fully done. It depends on the project scenario. We don't know that we are going for an application maintenance or for a code developer as from the scratch. So we don't know yet <clears throat> what is the role to be. So in a prior project, I was joined in the midway. A project is already almost is done. Now we have to extend the features. And the current project which I'm working is absolutely um, a scratch project. So each and everything that we're building it. So it has a different different scenarios where where everything that we configure and then we move on as a new project. It depends. Okay, now this code should be enabled in where and all he's asking. Uh, please add to the all the list, I don't care. Because as a sales guy, he may see the code. As a marketing guy, he may see the code. As a support guy, he may check the code. It, it depends. You wanted to give the service guy to check your code or not, it depends. But this is the ideal original one, which is the opportunity layout commonly used for other profiles, like access system admin stuff. Now the code has been enabled, you can come here. I added to this page load by default, go to the opportunity page load and added. So after refreshing this page, it should have it. So what I've done, right now I enable the code management or the code settings via through code, I've enabled the codes. So why code is the products, whichever we added here, for all this we can you know, differentiate the price. For opportunity products we say is, for code, we say code line terms. Okay. So this products are basically this this basically we called as opportunity line items also we call or code related, sorry, opportunity products also we call. Two names we have for this. Again, I'll repeat. For opportunities, we say it's a products. So the other name of this opportunity line items. Under opportunity, these are the line items we think. Line items nothing but again a product. The same way for code. Quote is what it does is it does a copy of it does a copy of opportunities main items values and all the products it will copy. When all the products in the quote we say as quote line item. If I say this is opportunity item for quote, this all the products, the same product has been copied there, and the product name it is named as quote line items. Look at here. So we have a quote here. So I'll create a new quote. So the moment I create a new code for TAR, so the majority of the values would be copied from the opportunity and the respective products are copied from the products, opportunity products. So we name it as code line items. So let's give a basic description when this code you would make it as an expiry. 10th, the code name is TAR MFG manufacturer code. 
So already we have an opportunity here, a name. So you don't have to worry about it. Anytime, any changes or anything you want to refer, you can quickly jump into the opportunity and check it. So tax, other shipping details all we don't require. So, so Bhagat Singh is the one who is the uh, primary contact for this. And this number, you think something like this. So Tar Manufacturer is the one, ship to both are same. <coughs> So now what you have done is we have created the code. The jump in the code. Even code has stages. So let's say needs review in review and approved by manager, be rejected by the manager. Again, you present it to the client, client accepted or denied. So based on this, we say the code has been working now. So again, I'll repeat. So very beginning of a code has been someone is creating, it will be in draft state. So needs review in review. So needs review means once you all the done with the draft version. So what you do is you put to needs review. So needs review means what you you put this needs review and assign to your manager. He says in review. He may approve or he may reject. If he approves, so then once he verifies, it will move to automatically to um, approved state. Again, what it does is who oh, as a sales guy you do present to your client. Our customer after the presented the client accepts or denies his, his interest so that way we check here these are the code details we have code name expiration date it is in draft status which account which opportunity so what is the total amount we have in the opportunity so far is four thousand six hundred dollars and the grand total is also so much why they say subtotals because sometimes you may give a discount here in the code so that's the reason they're saying Subtotal and a grand total. If we apply discount, how much is the percent that you have applied the discount? So who is a billing manufacturer? Address ship to and uh, bill to. So both we have at the same time prepared for which customer. So all that we have been added here. And uh, this is an activity tab which you call. So no problem. In the related, you see there's something called as quote line items. In the quote line item, what you can see is in each and everything which is seen in opportunity products, all are copied here. Did you see this? I can yeah. again, you can want to add as many products again, you can do, you can add it. See, the opportunity related products are let's say three products we added. We can have a fourth product also here. It depends, it's not something that we have to left over with one. And that will be mapped to the opportunities, right? If we add a product in code, it will be in opportunities as well. No. Oh. While you're working with the code, you are. It, this is the latest one. I mean, okay. while, while customer is talking, at the very beginning, he was interested with the true products, you think. In the, mm -hmm. while, while dealing with the code, he may know, we're interested with the, you know, with the new products which came in. So you wanted to try with the, both the uh, products. Like what was there an opportunity? Additionally, my sales guy is doing good. He's explaining very well about the products. So even they wanted that. So what that time we do is we try to add to the code. Let him first decide, accept the code. Then I'll add to the products and then I'll move on. What do you say? So he's, yet to, he's still in the code. He's a negotiation state. He's not even accepted with my opportunity. So that's the reason he wanted a price breakup. So we give quotation to if you want to buy any bike or car, we ask for a quotation, give the break break up price. What is the EMI with chai? If I pay, how long it will take? So what is the monthly EMI? Something you ask for a breakup. Same way, here each product you have a breakup, how much it will charge. So you may negotiate and ask for a discount on this. Hey, I'm buying so much, can you give a discount on it? So that's the reason we have quote items of money products. And ideally, this may not be equivalent to the same opportunity products which we had. You can have more. Also here, mm. one, this is agreed. So something, an option we call a sync. Quote, we have an option called a sync. The moment you are see syncing, all of these new products also will go tie up automatically add to the products. So you need not worry about, go manually add it. The moment you enable sync, your quote line terms, one of the products and the price, it will sync to the opportunity products. Either if it is two added here more, it will automatically copy the two value there. If the price is something slightly changed, it will change the price there because client accepted. Once he accepted, I'll do a sync. 
so that means whatever the latest value all we have in the kotlin terms it should copy to the products agree yeah okay so let's say this is not done so we wanted to add few more things then let's go to the opportunity that's a big one assume at a very beginning only we added only two products i think assume at the very beginning we didn't add a wedge pizza 400 we didn't add it it's okay fine at the very beginning only we didn't add a two price two two products i think now it makes sense right two products only we had and assume and assume in our code assume in our code just now we added the third product so it is now currently it is unsync right your opportunity products is not matching with codes right yeah this is what i wanted it assume at the very beginning of this opportunity you had <clears throat> some slight changes will do where is the quantity i want to make this as a funded because he is expecting 1000 meals this guy came for 1000 uh, meals as a quantity right so only two products i'll add here so two products only suffice to to have a 1000 meals and so their price would be slightly different okay 500 to 500 if i put and this community of 5 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 is 10 10 into 500 is 5000 dollars okay for two of this product 5000 was the one of the important thing i may I, let me delete this code also if i require we can continue or else if you think that okay new code is created and that is not syncing with that with whatever the opportunity we have firstly what to do is opportunity products we add and then only we'll try to create a code is yes, getting hmm. now assume the code has been created this way and a lot of changes we have done here you think so that guy initially he said 500 now he made as 300 now he has made 400 here and another one new one he had it called wedge pizza so which wedge pasta he has added 400 there and the third one is which is added as 300 here so it is not currently seeing with our opportunity so think firstly we have this one and post creating the code this guy is modified he added one more new product he is you know change the quantity whatever it is no the overall it looks like this is getting so what i'm trying to say is you added one product extra here and you change the few of the qualities here how are you wanted to make 1000 only here 300 400 300 there it was 500 and 500 here it is like 300 400 300 so three products here we have now for this all the three products which he added he is expecting to have a Uh, discount to be applied here hey i want discount for this the whole bunch what we added here so why you want to give a discount here so let's just get me edit getting for each product can give a discount now for non veg burger so is saying 300 quantity okay i'm giving 2% discount there more than 2% you you saying that i can't do it so you save it for 400 okay it's a 4 dollar you saying that i will give 5% discount here i going to say 5% discount here Is it getting? Look at the subtotal and whatever we have. Sale price was seven dollars. Quantity was three hundred four dollars. Subtotal was the post we calculated. Two thousand three hundred. This was the existing price. Post discount total price is this much. Mm-hmm. Getting? This is the early case. 
where somewhere around 4500 dollars we seen again you are at 2% on top of this 5% of total price of this and 5% total of this now now the prices are slightly changed again why because this guy went to a quotation and he's all asking this and then he wanted to present this quote and accept to print only will this get this deal others will not get this 1000 units every day if you think about one day it doesn't matter if you think about 365 it matters a lot so you giving discount to him okay it's a regular income why we have to stop so you given to 2% 5% 5% discount to him now the price is this is the final price which is you think that okay this is the maximum you can give and the client is very happy about it now you back come back to the court okay now what you do is so this all can have an automations like say approval process you can have where you submit it goes for someone manager he will approve it again come back so this all we'll see in the later stage so when we work we you know when you get in the chapter of approval process i don't touch you know so we may can come back again and do the do the same stuff and not to do an automatic approval all stuff assuming this guy is submitted presented to the client prior that you have an approval to his manager everything is approved received everything presented to the client and the client is accepted and you are marking the sale as completed hello yeah yeah marking the stage is completed so the moment you do this stuff prior to that you wanted to check if you can sync it or not let him accept only then i'll sync okay fine he's accepted and the moment we accept him so we say him that boss um hey how do we present it if you ask me a question um we can say that we can send an email we can attach whatever you can do so for that we have something called as generate a quote create pdf so this is a mcdonald's you think and look at this non veg burger 7 dollars sales price quantity discount after that you have to pay this much so finally it is 3.63% discount of the original price it is now 4000 433% that you got it is it getting so this is the final original price it is guy has to pay for a every day price which is buying 1000 meals so this is the price for every day he has to pay for it so now this is what we are sending into him same and email the code So the moment I do it, I'm sending to all of three. So to Bhagat Singh, we don't have really Bhagat Singh name. So I'm gonna give this to three name. Wait. I think doing this is not helping out. So it will be easier after. Okay. So what do you want semicolon? yeah yeah what about it is i am copying one by one no problem <laughs> So this will be sending the quotation to all of the three people, and I'm going to send to the subject as so M C D Thar quote. This is assuming you are the client. 
Hi. Hi, sir. Whatever. Is uh, madam something you're sending here? Please verify and accept the code. So you can see attachment is there and you can send over. Attach and send. So whatever I sent, save and uh, send an email. Attachment is here. It's added to the notes and attachments are PDF here. And you also sent the files to the system to an email i think you all received an email so in the email you can see this so what is this expression date when so what are the products that we have what is the grand total you do a sign and then again send back to us that's all you have been accepted so only then if you do sign and send back to us now whatever it is a presented state where i send an email to you with a pdf you may be requested with that or you may send back to us saying that bus is not working well. Okay, let's again regenerate and send you. So we can have as many versions been keep creating here. So it says version one, version two, version three, so on. Look at this V1. So we can be sending as many versions. It's okay. Then finally is accepted. We mark it as an accepted state and then, okay, let's complete this. So you are accepted. So the moment you accept it, so already we have informed to you saying that uh, if you have already a tax, we would have mentioned here shipping details, we would have mentioned. Uh, if tax and shipping details is mentioned, it would have been shared here at the last. Tax and shipping, something would have mentioned here. If I would have spent, mentioned something like that. For example, you see, so you put, um five percent of a tax and a shipping charge you put every day fifteen dollars now this also would impact in your price 15 515 this also would impact now let's go create pdf i'm saying this is how the versions would be created for you look at this now Tax and shipping handling also has been added additionally, and this is the final price that you have. So let's save to this code. I'm not sending again to the customers. You can you can again send it to customers as you wish. Look at this version two has been created. This version two, you are seeing the the few more added prices here. Right? Either you can again send to customers what you can do, but we say version one, version two, so on. Earlier price was 433, now 453. Now what I do is you can, anyway, this is all accepted and your client has been agreed. So what I do is you come back to quote and you say click on start sync. Unless the start sync, no any value has been updated here. Look at this. Opposition still residing on the same old context. Find it, find it at the very beginning what he came as a customer, he was still there. And now he modified a lot of things here. Okay. So earlier price was this, we may present it. Now after the quotation and changes, a lot of things got changed. Either you can go quote from here and click on, sorry here, go click here and say, start sync. Or you can just come to the quote and then you say start sync. I want to click no, on. What is the sync on the top? Does that do the same thing? Where? This one? Like, yes. Yeah, the moment you enable it, it says it's synced. Okay, okay. Sync to opportunity. Unless okay. and until quote is in different way, opportunity is in different way. The moment you sync, all the latest value, whatever you had, it will copy to the opportunity. That is the meaning of it. Now they okay. say the point is here. Start sync. So if you continue, you will be replaced all the opportunity products with the code line terms. Okay. Sorry. After code sync, opportunity products and code line terms are updated automatically. 
So again, you come and change. There's a change in the quote and time you do it. It will reflect directly in opportunity as well. So, so, so one need... opportunity can have multiple quotes. Yes. Okay. Again, it's a business use case. Because however, the quote can be multiple only. Because they are key verifying. No? Okay. So, let me continue here. So now here on it, the sync is enabled. So whatever the value you see here, there should be to the manufacturing here, you should see the value change. So now three products and then prices are added. Up and again, discount is also applied and this discounted price has been added here. You see this? 4433. 4433 is the original price. They didn't include tax and shippings and all. Is getting? Yeah. So these are all the three products. Earlier it was two, now it is three. So it is copied the exact value of what Kotlin to me had and then replicate another opportunity product. So now, since customer itself signed the deal of accepting it, so I should make them as closed one. Only then my revenue would be 100% here. So he's happy and we are just going as choosing a stage here and we're saving it here. So that's it. The opportunity is closed one. So your amount is also good and expected amount also is correct and you have closed one probably 100%. So that means we have done with the code. From where this campaign or from where this opportunity is if it is flowed in a see thing so there's a primary campaign that is going MCD amount, but from there only people are been focused on asking them to have a meal every day. Now, if you come to this campaign, uh, if you check the details, two people are on the lead, two people have converted, and five customers in the campaign. We so far we have how many people how many people we loaded to this contacts to this campaign, if you think that one. Early only three contacts we loaded. Now two leads we converted. No, those three converters guys have become contacts. So that's the reason it says five. And two opportunities from this campaign which is run and one is one. The other one we didn't close it. We just put on hold and we, from web to lead, whatever we came, we closed the deal. So that's the reason one in opportunities for this campaign is only one. And um, how much we have one? Four, four, three, three is the one which you want. So the one more opportunity which we have for 2000 change, but that is not one yet. It's still in the progress. So values in the opportunities campaign is still two more thousand we have, which is not close yet. But this is the one amount we have. For sure, we'll get this. So this is the expected revenue, maybe for, oh, what is this, end day to one, only one day. Maybe if you're running for the campaign for a month, so let's assume this is for two days revenue. So for a month, you're targeting a 60,000, but in two days only got this much amount, you think. So budget you put already as 10,000, but we are very close enough to at least breach the budget. So two, two days every day, if you go on, so maybe very, you are very close to the expected revenue. So this is how you do a code, code management, code management, code enabled you have done. So code line terms, all the products are copied. You are again modifying there, you're putting a discount and you're generating the PDF and sending an email to client and they say accepted. Once they accepted again, you come back here, you start syncing. All the latest values are copied to opportunity. So if they are fine, everything, then we are saying that close to one. So the moment we closed one, we come back to the campaign source and we see how much amount we got. Are we on target by seeing it? So if we day, let's see in two days we close this. So other sales guys also, we keep closing on the other side. So if they meet with this, at least the near, nearest requirement, so then they will open an outlet there. Just kidding. Yeah. So this ideal way of understanding a flow like a project. So since the sales project would be this way only. Additional to this, whatever they want to custom thing, if you think. So price book. So they may have some calculation on the price book. Sometimes the price book calculations, copies, or tries to check at the third party system, like say somewhere SAP. So they have the pricing management system there. 
only from there the discount will flow only from there the how much percentage should be here from there it might flow so that time you may have integration concepts which is so they should have exposed the service to us or some other tool that was helping you out to come from you and to them okay otherwise we're good here yeah. so i think it went to sure comes tomorrow we'll start with the case management um that yeah. makes more sense to explain on more about the case case is a little important because any project may have a sales but service is the most important thing every project will have service <laughs> you become with the sales or we don't care you come from a community management okay how our case would be there our case management would be there products are different support services only one no yeah so what, what is, is the cloud? Mm-hmm. what is community cloud like how you have a collaborative uh, things right community mm-hmm. stuffs like so now trail it trail it all the developers we are logging there and we are doing it so anyone has a question they are posting to developer community now someone people are answering to the question someone um giving positive answers someone says that this is not the right way so all people are we are communicating on one channel saying that a particular question is posted so how we say that is a community where all people are merged in one place and we are just communicating it like how sales you know facebook we are posting the your own ads or what to say posts sorry and people are commenting it liking it all the stuff